am here, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Lightball. That's right, guys. I hope that everybody's enjoying your party tonight, and we are ready to have you covered here for the NBA game. And for hockey as well, we couldn't wait to see what the conference finals is all about. But this has been an exciting game at this matchup. All for one, for last night's game, it was the Mavericks that won everything, shutting down the number one seeded team. And this is what everybody's been showing off. It has been great out there. I know you are. You know how impressive that is. I can always say for, for one of the moments here, look at Doncic. He's ready to bring things on into this conference final since we've seen them playing against the Lakers in the 2K Sports. They are really are stepping their way in front of it, and the air are on fire right now. Because of that moment, because of the Lakers, they are really like pushing their way in there. I'm betting that I think that the Donkey's team are going to roll into the finals and get ready to face against the winning team. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see when it goes in. For the chance of for this will be a win or go home for the New York Knicks. They've already lost three games in a row already. Two for a away game and one for a home game, but this is it. This is what happens now. If Jason Tatum brings your team to end their night, it will be all over. New York Knicks has Jalen Brunson with Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Burt and Julius Randle with Isaiah Horton signed. And the other side, we have Drew Holiday with Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Chris Kapp for St. Gifts. Now for the next commentary I'm ready to have is Boomer, and he's also along with the other two right in between of Ultra Beast, and finally is Cool Beast. Let's get the show on the roll. Here we go, folks, and I, of course, will be on the sideline for tonight's game. Get ready for the next matchup. Let's roll. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA playoffs. What's up, everyone? It's that time for another NBA playoffs. I'm Boomer, and I'm here with my broadcast partner with Cool Beast and Ultra Beast. This is NBA playoffs on Two K Sports, the conference semifinals of Eastern Conference. This is win, the win or go home for the New York Knicks. Lost three games in a row. They're trying to see if they can have that extended back. Jason Tatum and Julius Randle are your key guard positions of the matchups on point four. The better matchup is we're ready to see what goes in because they're ready to find out who can take it in next. You know, great ways happen right now because they were really expecting for Joe Masula and Tom Fimido. I'm guessing there's a lot of great chances in here. If there's another win, I think we're ready to see how this is going to happen. Well, you'll see how it can definitely happen now. Maybe. Bring it in. Let's bring it on. And we start with the two group and we the ball tip is off and we're ready to start at Madison Square Garden. Here's the start for Dante DiVincenzo. He's right on the top of that line again to Jalen Brunson. Brunson on a first one to drive. He makes it in. That starts with his first bucket of the game. Drew Holiday on his way down to the start. Now finds it again to Derek White. Derek White now finds the pass over down to Holiday. He gives it over to get it to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum up and over bounce pass to Porzingis. Looks it over to Jason Tatum. Almost lost the ball with a shot and it goes in. That will be his first bucket after Porzingis with the assist. Thank you there that happened to be for Jason Tatum. That has to do a lot of the certain steps along the way. But you got to make sure when you're, when you're playing in there, you got a lot of long way to go already. You gotta play when you have some eye contact in it. Play some sort of sort of amount of scrimmage, and then get right to the game. Everybody plays it simple. It's not always easy when you get there. Who's Tatum? Tatum with a step back for two. Takes it in, and it's missed. The New York Knicks are back the air away, still even up. Here's a cut over White, and he's not. That will be his first foul for Derek White. And Dante DiVincenzo at the free ball line, shooting two. Played in here that often to be Dante DiVincenzo. He's trying to get two shots in there. It doesn't happen to be what they're the cutting that says taking in there. I mean, you don't really play enough often, but you've got to show what your response is. Play it hard, play it right, get this done. First shot to the free ball line will be the New York Knicks. Top of the pocket, 6.43 left to go. He gets the first free throw. 
You say for Dante D. Vincenzo, when he's scouting the pretty well on his fair way to take the mark out of it, I always say that Dante D. Vincenzo, he's a very smart and he's just playing here after the Golden State Warriors. And then, his better average now, on his pair with Kef, Kefi and John F. DiVincenzo, I know he has a standard. Can't knock the hustle down with the, with the cover on the, on the sport, Illustrated Sports if he does it. Well, just believe in it. It's just what you can definitely play for. Dante DiVincenzo plays to play it out there for so long of our ages out there. His parents are always giving him so a lot of great opportunity in this range. Son, Play hard? Do some a little bit of strong, strong effort? And then get right into the business. It's been like keeping a strong effort out there. As long as you mean it. For the Knicks, you gotta play it for the right timing of the ace. As the Knicks puts up in here for the New York Knicks, he puts it back again to Chris Apple Venus. He gives it over again to Jalen Brown. Brown trying to give it over again to Drew Holiday. Passes it again to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum for a cut. Step back for two. Takes it in. That's a number two point bucket score for the Boston Celtics. He has four points in the game. You know, every other day that happened to be Jason Tatum, he's got to be like playing on his better, a better effort out there. Or can't lose the effort if you can try to like keep smacking it down. The pass over to to Jason Tatum. 540 left to go in first. He gives it again to Holland. Holiday step back for the two. And that's missed off the target. Now here's Randall. Randall gets again to Jalen Brunson. And he makes the shot. And now puts up a lead 6-2. 6-4. Six, 6-4. Four. Six, four. Thank you, sports announcer. Drew Holiday now finds it over again for Jalen Brown. Brown gets again to Derek White. White tried to able to make that one persuadable. Now back to Brown. Brown finds Tatum, outside for three. Takes the triple range near the baseline. He has his first three-pointer, seven points in the game. Just can't play enough that Jason Tatum is really like on a possession. After playing here for the University of Duke, but you gotta show what you gotta build late for for Jason Tatum. Better range than that, gotta play for real. The rebound puts it in. And it's blocked by Chris Stapp for Zingix. That's by Jason Tatum. It was again to Jalen Brown. Chris Tapper Zingas takes a drive in. And he has the first bucket in. After Jalen Brown with the assist. 9 6 is the score. Time on ball by New York. With 4.35 left to go in the first. Well, they have to bring it in now. I mean, they make sure they do. I mean, you, you've got to play some of the better communication skills. I mean, everybody's been all over now. But they got to do a little bit of much of a different attack. Because they got to see what they can do. Keep on playing it, make it fast right away. Playing it, it's not always easy. No, I mean, I will say this. If Joe Mazzullo has here a one of a changing of his instability run, I say it is. Because he's really like up to it. As for Paul Verdante DiVincenzo, he's definitely got played for one of his college basketball. After playing from Villanova, the uh, University of the Villanova for the Wildcats, where he has won his national championship in 2016 and 2018, being named the Final Four Most Outstanding Player. After playing with that one being by himself, because he was really amazed back in 2018, he definitely played so well in it. And then he went right to Wisconsin Hurts before he played for the Sacramento Kings, then the Golden State Warriors. All switching back and forth right between the two of a line from then. After that, he went to the New York Knicks. He wants to have another new changeoff when he has to do for But they're outstanding right now. I mean, how can you just say that Dante DiVincenzo has it already been really lifted out there? Does this score keep on going on? I don't think so. Well, playing in there, it just may not be what they're expecting. If you really are going to be like Dante DiVincenzo, don't switch your teams if you can. Well, playing in there, it never happened. The miss puts in for, Don, for Jalen Brunson. Here's the Tatum with the rebound. He has his second rebound of the night. Gives it over again to Drew Holiday. Holiday tries to swivel it around the move. Gives it over again. Passes off to Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown. The pass over to Jason Tatum. Tatum. The step up for two. Takes it in. That's another two pointer for Jason Tatum. He has nine points. And Brown with a two assist of the game. Jalen Brunson. Trying to attack it. Over with a layup drive, and this one's off the mark. And it goes right back to Brown. Brown gives it over to Drew Holiday with a shot. He's fouled, bucket one. 
Jalen yeah, Brunson wins his first personal. First personal. And the first team foul for New York. 336 left to go in the first. That's the Drew, Drew Holiday's on the free throw line shooting one. Now with some new substitution on the court, as Al Horford's checked in for the New York, for the Boston Celtics. And back the airway is OG Ananobi, he's checked in for New York Knicks. He hits the free throw. Range of the marker may happen now for True Holiday. He is Shannon Brunson. Well, it's a little bit of a different look. Range again. Here's a drive. A shot in, and it's missed. All over now brings it over again to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum watching himself back to Brown. Gives it over to Tatum and Tatum. The drive set today. He has been on crazy game effort. Trying to stop a New York Knicks in the game. Well, they really are trying to let that happen. I mean, I don't know what they're mm -hmm. up to now. Because they got to play some defense. Got to have some stronger communication in. Time out call and a second time out. With 3.15 left to go for New York Knicks. And yeah, that's right now. It's where you get a little bit of static here for Drew Holiday. He's trying to find his way. And he has been like picking up his better on his scoring range offense. He's one of his players before, after playing with the UCLA Bruins, before being selected by the Philadelphia 76ers since 2009, was a 17th overall draft pick. He played for four seasons with the Philadelphia before being traded to New Orleans Pelicans. That was happening in 2013. And then, this happened to be one of his playing career. After that happened, he now he's with the Milwaukee Bucks. And then after that, He's now being transferred over. He now is ready to play with the Boston Celtics team. You know, I can always say for now, I mean, for sure it is for Joe Holiday. He's been like all for anybody. Played for for one of his early years of his age. He's really stayed here. Better California days happen to be. His high school at Campbell in Los Angeles, California. And then UCLA, next stop. Just only one year. One year. That was it. Nothing happened. Point of change here for New York Knicks and the Celtics as right now a couple of players are checked off. A couple of players are checked back on the court. Just going to be risky, be easy now. Drew Holiday might be something, but he might do. For his new change up, it can be a difficult way to have it in. Randall's checked in and is out as Mitchell Robinson checked in. And the course, Sam McBride are checked in also. Three minutes to go in the first. Three pointer for Hurts takes it in. Here's the takeover to Al Horkle. Over now to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum for the two. Has a triple range down. Another two-pointer knocks it in. He has 13 points and that's Al Horkle with the assist. Well, you can't really say that Al Horkle's been taking points all this effort. Better range is, don't let him take all, all over him. Because if you don't do it right, don't take on this defensive recovery. Robinson now finds our move. Will be on all over. The screen for Marvin set. Picks a two. That's OG on a he scores bucket. Back down by seven. Here's Jason Taylor. Gives it over now to Tillman Senior. With a drive, he's fouled. That goes to Mitchell Robinson. He scores more solo fouls. Second team foul. Second team foul. Mitchell Robinson he hasn't really agreed with anybody right now. That's Mitchell Robinson. He just missed that one with his chance up for it. He just lost his effort. Better taking over it, and he's sorry for that. Whoops! I guess that's going to happen with most of them because that was a, a uh, bad defensive effort for Mitchell for Mitchell Robinson. He's not picking it up in there. That's not good at all. He missed the first free throw. As you can see now, it just happened to be for Tillman Senior. Will he be able to get right into it? I'm pretty sure he will. He might be getting in there, just, but just let him handle it. What he can do, you gotta keep on playing it if you can. McDonavich is checked in for Alex Burke as he moves it over. Oh. 
He makes his second free throw. Just two minutes remaining in the first quarter of the game. As right now, Meg Bry will now try to find another take. He gives the game to Robinson. Robinson on his cutting bound. Step back for two. That's another miss by New York. Dylan Cena with his first lead back in the game. He finds the pass again to Pritchard. Pritchard trying to look it over. Again, pass again to Hooper. Hooper stepping down for two. That cutting drive got him heavy out of the way as Al Horford's got his first bucket. They drive with the ball. 90 seconds left in the first. Screen for Robertson. The cutting down. It's denied by Dylan Senior. And Robertson's got this rebound in. Richard's got that ball. Now he finds it again to Wolver. Wolver, all the way around a bit. Gives it again to Jason Tatum. Jason Tatum gives it again to Richard. Richard has to find another way to get in. Over to Tatum. Over with the shot for Brown. No good. Works with the rebound. Now finds again to McBride. McBride watching himself closely. Moves it around. Ave Aliu. And he's out of bounds. That turns over into Boston ball with under a minute to go. That's bad out there. I mean, bad defensive effort. I mean, bad uh, alley oop pass. I mean, they're not picking up straight. Sam Houser checked in for Jason Tatum. Here at a halfway mark at the end of the first half, here's Richard. Richard now finds the pass over again to Sam Houser. Houser now finds the game Brown. Brown switches over now to Houser. Again, a pressure. A bucket range in. Back to Hauser. Cut in over Bogdanovich. And he makes it in. That'll be Sam Hauser's first bucket. And Pritchard with the assist. 23 13 to score. They trail by 10. Here is an RT for McBride. Back to Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich stepping in for two. No good. That goes back the airway to Al Hooper with his second rebound. 10 seconds left to go in the first. He now has to begin to Richard. Richard watching the play now. Give over. Richard for a triple. And knocks it, drains it down to three. And with the end of the first quarter, 26 to 13 to score. You better be believing out there. How do you show up what they can do? Just play out if you can. You don't take messing over, Richard. You got it all. Second quarter is coming up right after this break, and we'll be right back with you shortly. We'll be tuning us in here for the NBA 2K Sports. We're about to start the second quarter. They're on a smart starting smoke out for the Celtics over the New York Knicks on the second. Now, they are really playing it. I know it happened now. I mean, playing for terrific games, it's not always easy when you keep it all in there. Just play what you gotta do. I mean, don't let anybody try to get over and defend yourself. That's what you have to do, play for bets. They were best in favorites. Let's show them what they did. We start the second quarter as we're back with us, ready to start. Drew Holiday used with Derek White. We're seeing this is with Al Horford and Sam Ozzo right towards the outside and away. On the other side, we have it across the Jalen Brunson along with Dante DiVincenzo. Julius Randle and he's with Alex Burke. Josh Carter. And a buck can be again for Al Horford. He has never two pointer range in there. Let's see with the ball. Holiday, giving a good protection on Drew and Jalen Brunson. Porzingis with the steal. Goes it over. Here's White. With the cut and drive. Makes it in. That's another two pointer for Derek White as he has another two point range in that playoff game. Even Chenzo, ready to go for it. Randall for three. Two pointer misses the target outside. Well, Zingas trying to answer that one back in here is a 30 to 13 game. Rolls back to Horper. Horper now finds it again. Porzingis. Porzingis gets it over to Holiday. Holiday. Now back to White. White. Porzingis. Over Hardenstein. Around the layup goes in. That's for Porzingis' second bucket. And they are White with the assist. Well, they're all playing it now. Chris that Porzingis must have found that one here. Wrapping things across late. But that one didn't really care at all. I mean, what can they figure it out? What's the better chance in there? Play a game? Give us a break. Other side for two. Misses. 
Brunson makes a way. And uh, as a rebound, 32, 15, 15. Now White finds again a Wolfer. Wolfer gives it over to pass down, finding Hauser. Hauser gives it again to Wolfer. A lot of quiet so far in between the those two. He finds it again for Seth Porzingis for two. Excellent shot, man. As it's Wolfer with the assist. Six points for KP. Now it's back to a 34 15 game. Down on ball by the Rio Knicks with 5.52 left to go. Well, they're really been playing out there. I mean, I don't know what happened to the Knicks, but they've got to show some respect out there. They've got to choose another way differently. That's for the next part of a couple games here as we keep your eye here for the Stanley Cup playoffs as we've got our great matchup right in between the two. There will be only two games right in between. As the Bruins face on against the Maple Leafs, and the other side will be the Dallas Stars that are back at home and they're facing against the Winnipeg Jets. I'll be happening with two games at in game five as we will be seeing the surrounding shortly. And only one game that will happen here. That will be what they are taking for. And as right now it goes back for the air game here for the Carolina Hurricanes and the Lightning if necessary. And then for the only game left we have is the Vancouver Canucks facing against the Vegas Golden Knights. The other side of it, as you will be seeing them right on the way, we're done shortly. And as we're making the approachment to the end of the first half, we've got a halftime show coming up for you. As you have Missouri Johnson, Kenny Jet Smith. And of course, the Stragger Nation. This will be all, this, all the uh, Foots here. The reporters are coming up after the first half is complete. Brunson. Finding over Randall makes us a dunk down. Oh, and now the fans are loving this one, Mr. Support, because they love that dunk. Yeah, I mean, you better have to believe that. I mean, they really can't be that important now, you know? Happens with anybody, and you can definitely try to say that Randall slams it. That better angle. Gotta show that one pounds fast. Drew Holiday with the ball. Now he finds it over to get a Jason Tatum. Tatum, right toward in the middle with a driving shot, and it's good. Another two pointer makes it in for Tatum. He has 15 points, 513 left to go in a second. Now he finds Steve Vincenzo. The screen put in. Step up for two. That's missed again for New York. Five minutes left to go in the second. And he will now give it over to Wolfer. Wolfer now finds it over to White. White gives it over to Jay Drew Holiday. Holiday now tries to get over again to Wolfer. Wolfer with a step around drive, makes it in. Now Wolfer with a third bucket, 38-17. Brunson trying to give over to get a Randall. Randall back to Brunson. Here's the cut, and fouls called on Drew Holiday. This one was a foul, first team foul. Ooh, man, that's going to be like a hard takeover. The hard contact happened? That's not good. Two shots. Free throw coming up here for Jalen Brunson. That's going to stop the clock. We're just down to 431 to go. Jalen Brunson with the first free throw. Two shots to go. Two shots to go. Two shots to go. He makes the first free throw. Now, I know what you're saying right now, but that's what you're saying for Jalen Brunson. He's been playing it for so long, for the reasons. He was first selected here for the Dallas Mavericks and played for the first four seasons. After playing with them, college basketball of Illinois, he was definitely the national player of the year as a junior and then won two national championships. And look at this. You can always say now, more for the better age. He's better definitely taking over it, and he is from, you know the name, New Brunswick, New Jersey. Jersey's the best place to be now for Brunson, and I guess it. He's really into it. I always say that. I always heard you. Yeah. Right, be out there if you're living in the pool, son. And see Brian. Here's White. The step around the back. And number two pointer misses off the target for Derek White. And here's Brunson on the attack. Makes it in with another drive. 38-21 to score. 
So trying to score back in. Drew Holiday now will have his chance back in to Tatum. Tatum gives it over again to Al Roper. Al Roper now trying to able to survey the D back to Tatum. Tatum looks it over now, finds again to Holiday. Holiday up and under hand pass. The move around for two. The nice move in for Chris L. Porzingis. He has a number two pointer in this game. He has eight. Nearing out the end of the first half of the game. Jalen Brunson as on Drew Holiday gives again to DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo finds Jalen Brunson. Brunson, 4 2. Takes it in. It's a number two point bucket score. 48 23 as they're trying to pull it back down by 17. And Drew Holiday with the ball with three minutes to go. He finds a pass to Al Warper. Al Warper cutting him down with a shot. Nice D take here for Julius Randle. Julius Randle must have had a defender already, but that's not blocked. That's okay to do that, but that's where you can definitely try to get that in. Don't take it in now because nobody wants that to get propered in and take it over. Julius Tatum working on the outside. He looks it over again to Al Warper. Warper gives it over to Al Holiday. Finds the pass over now, finds again to one. One. Rolls up for the two. And bumps off the glass and it's off of the rebound, puts up by Hart. And Hart with the take. And he makes a spinning drive. Makes it into a 40 27 game. 40 27. Drew Holiday now finds again to White. He gives up the back to Holiday. Holiday for two. Able to make the mark. That's another two point bucket score for five. And it's their White with the assist. Just only two minutes remaining in the first half. Jalen Brunson. Looks it in. A shot blocked by Al Horford. Now it's off to Holiday again to Tatum. Ball's loose. Celtics will keep the ball alive. Yes, this one will be an early change up coming in the way for the Knicks and the Celtics. A couple players are checked out, it's a couple players are checked in. Brown has moved over as Renato and C is checked back in. And now back the other way is the New York Knicks. Adding McBride on OBA and Randall checking back in. Brown, nobody around. Basic three. That is three points in this game. As Brown extends their team up 45 27. And Miles Quick. McBride to Randall for three. And he makes another miss. Derek White adding his second rebound of the game, and now he's just over now to Tillman Senior. Tillman Senior trying to find his way in. Chris crossing the move, right in between. Passes to Tatum. Tatum over on an Obi. And a drive, he reaches in for another take. You know, how that happened already, but that's what they always expect him to do with Jason Tatum. He's been like a, a great man play from Duke, and he's been really well. Constipating every game to step, and he's done for his bet. Brown finds a pass to Tatum. Tatum looks it over to White. White from the outside now finds it in with a shot foul, and he's off the mark. Jalen Brunson with a second personal foul. Personal first team foul. Hold on, New York. You don't really see what Derek White was trying to cut it in. That about is just really not turning out to be easy enough, but that one got pretty a little hard out there. Not even good at all. The next three throws coming up here for Derek White. As right now, the Boston Celtics are adding another two free throws to the game to end the drop. He makes the first free throw. Sam Miles is shut in. That's right now, Jason Tatum's off the court. And for the New York Knicks. As to bring him back as a number two group substitution, Burks, Bogdanovich, and Mitchell Robinson are checked in. And he makes a second free throw for Derek White. Here's another take for Alex Burke for two. He makes it in for a double dropping down. Here's your audit. With the ball now, finds again Jalen Brown. Finds the pass again to Holiday. 
holiday. Watch yourself in the screen to story. Gives it over now to Randall. Randall up an overhead pass to Tomasino. Over with the shot. Layup puts it in. As he has another two pointer in, he has three. Making points in there won't be easy enough if he can take all of them back. They're having now for Tomasino to make a scoring drop points. Ten seconds left in the first half. Dolich. The shot for two. And he misses. That ends the first half. It's a 51 29 game. A little bit out of way see him, but we will have the first half close and get ready for the second half as we have Ali LaForce standing by. Hey, Ali. Thanks so much. Al, as you anchor that front court, what were you guys looking to accomplish in the first half? I mean, we're, you know, we're just trying to play with pace, you know, trying to dominate on the defensive end, get rebounds, uh, make it tough. Pace is key. Back to you. Thanks, Ali. Stand by for the halftime show. It's on now. Second half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and even Jeff Smith. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He ended up with 17 points and four rebounds. Coming off a great performance last game, tonight he looked like he had that same aggressive mindset. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? They were in such a groove that entire first half, especially on the offense. Good play call, good execution, and by and large, they take good, not good, great shots. And now, Shaq, let's get your opinion on New York. The shooting was in the JLI was through the roof. The coach was absolutely ripping into the defense level. He need to take some pride on the other end. Just lock her in. Lock her in. Lock her in. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Hard. Oh, oh, brother. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we welcome you back at the Madison Square Garden, ready to start the second half. As you're ready about to be seen, the one of the biggest one drops for Jason Tate. Always well, been playing it for so long about the years since 2017 and 18 was a bigger year for the playoffs for the start. And he's definitely seen how he can definitely do to keep the day away. Better drive and everything, the offender, it's always just always great. Say Jason Tate, how do you feel? Better plays than that. Have to be ready, get it real. Here's a start now as the New York Knicks. That's Jalen Brunson with DiVincenzo. Randall with Josh Hart and Isaiah Hardenstein in center. Now finds pass over to Dylan Cena. Gives it again to Jason Tatum for three. Adding another one is no good. Hardenstein gives it over to Randall. Randall watching his way with the shot. And it's missed again. Porzingis with the rebound now finding it over to get to Jalen Brown. Brown finds Porzingis. Gives it over to Jason Tatum. Tatum over with a shine for two. Porzingis with another two. Makes a pointer in there, and he has 10 points. Jesus. Now Dean Chisel will have his own time on his, on his range to the offense side. He finds again no harm. Gives again to Brunson. Brunson stepping his way for two, and it's good. And then Brunson with another two pointer of the score. And it's now 53 31. Jalen Brown finds the pass to Porzingis. Another take. Oh, what a drop. And for Zach Porzingis, that's another two-pointer. He has 12. Well, you better see what happens now. I mean, they're really expecting that this is coming in. You know how wide that is? They are just really flying everywhere. All I'm looking at is keeping it in here at the same time. Oh, Porzingis. I can't believe that. That's like a big block. After a rejection here by Christoph Porzingis, here's Porzingis now finding tail mid senior. Jason Tatum trying to give over to White. In outside. Tatum for an error. And another two point makes it in. Timeout call by New York Knicks. 616. 617 left to go in the third. Up to extension 57 31. They are trailing by 26. Oh, big lead. Never gonna happen. They can't let him lose, they can't let him get away with that. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by 
storylines. Your local Kia dealers, movement fast spots. And by State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. You have Rangers trying to battle in to get into the Stanley Cup Finals. If you're watching for this part of the game, really always appreciate you all your support. And this has better been a long time here since 2014 was the entering year for the New York Rangers as they battle against the Los Angeles Kings. It wasn't a better matchup as this bitter end had to be everything the same thing. Well, I always have to say now, I mean, you can, you can expect now that they played really well. Just try doing your best and I can say that the New York Rangers are going to definitely just do better playing in 2024. And now, 10 years later, they're ready to do it again. Well. Good luck, New York Rangers! So as right now, Julius Randall is on the outside. Up with two. It's a nervous by New York Knicks. Jalen Brunson trying to have another two-pointer on the effort, but now he has to pull it back in. And now here's Pritchard. We're going to out a little force, talking to Christoph Porzingis on better takes here in the, the center guard position. He's really like all into heavy uh, offender of his better, better ways to have it in there. He's just really doing the way he's got to get in there. Christoph Porzingis after playing with the Washington Wizards. He really has no other ideas to be. That was his end of his day. You know, better nights are always one. Hey, never, nothing happens now. I mean, you can't always play like that. I mean, that's what you can't do. Play it in here for real. I mean, no one wants to have it all. Here's Brown. Number two pointer makes it in. That is five points in this game. 59 to 31 to score. Some of the fans are leaving right now while the others are watching the game. And Hart will make it in. Here's Richard, now finds Tatum. Here's the cut. Oh, Tatum! Unbelievable! That's 21 points for Jason Tatum, and he has been on fire already. How smoking he is, he's just like lifting it up. Never in the year of the moment. Another one goes in for the Knicks. It's Dante DiVincenzo. The rip two. I just really have nothing to believe right now. That is what I can definitely say for Jason Tatum. He's been like a push up to kick it off. Bounce passing will not take it in here as Jason Tatum will now have it again to Porzingis. Two pointer braces in right toward the rim as they're adding another two pointer for another point in a paint. Jason Tatum with the assist. He has 14 points. And a take for Brown. And a drive will get it in for Brenton. 63 37 to score. Four minutes to go in the third quarter. Finds the pass. Here's Percep for Sengis. Oh! The slam dunk puts up for KP. Now that's what I always knew. KP, slam it down. That's the face right now. They move silent in Madison Square Garden. That's right at the moment. It's been the end of the night. And all that happened now, they try to make sure that everyone gets out of the way. What a block by Chris Stapp for Zingas. You know what happens now? KP really has to defend that ball and then just reject it out of here. Derek White's checked out as Al Horford's checked in. Here's the take for Hart. The cut and now find it again. With a drop. Nervous by New York. Jalen Brown with the ball, trying to enter it in here with another tip. The screen finds Al Horford. He has nowhere else to be. Three pointer adds a number two three pointer on the line for the New York Knicks on his breakdown as the Celtics are increasing the three pointers on the range. 68 37 to score. And the ball's loose. Here comes Al Horford and Pritchard for the finish. And he will make a try. Richard. Richard's got five points, and they are just unbreakable at that point. As now as Jalen Brunson trying to roll it in with three minutes to go. Brunson gives again on an OB for three, and he will make the triple. Now as the 
70-40 game, and third down by 30. 70 40 Richard, Roy in, now finds again. Stolen by Anobi. DiVincenzo will have another way to get in. The screen by Julius Randle. Jalen Brown on Dante DiVincenzo. The cut in. On a shot, drop. On a rebound, puts it in. That's Julius Randle with another two pointer. Celtics lead. Celtics pusher. 42. We're nearing down the end of a third quarter as there's only under two minutes to go. Richard trying to work his way across. Now finds to get a Tatum on the number two, and he makes it in. They're back up by 30. Trying to cut them down, and they've been down. The extension lead doesn't happen again. They are just trying to let it just go by as Jason Tatum adds the score. Yeah, just what they always notice for. I was really happy with Jason Tatum. He's just really, like, picking up the ball game, and then they were really, like, Pulling the breakdown on that. I was really seeing it, and I would have wished I would see that one play it again. They will love to see that one do this one once more or twice. Here's Al Warford now finds a pass over to go for KP. KP on the layup, and it goes in. A number two pointer for Chris Sapp for He has 18 Al points, passing the 90 second mark. Now he's Jalen on right side. A take in. Three pointer for Ron Another miss by New York. Well, they're shooting not really well enough at all. I mean, I don't know what's going on, but that effectively is just creating a bad response. They're losing everywhere right now. And they can't be left alone if they have anyone try to leave it, leave it open. Tita, four to three. And it makes a triple. The raging for the two, and he has 25 points. On a scoring drought, we're going to remain to go. You know, they even chance it for two, and they were missed by the New York Knicks. Uh, Warburg gets his fifth rebound of the night, 76-42. On a leading attack scores, finds Peyton Pritchard. Four to two, and that misses again. All stolen. Brown has it back again to Al Warburg. Gets again to Pritchard. Six on the shot clock. Gotta get there fast. Al Warburg, a step back for two, and it goes in. Another two-pointer for Al Warburg. That's 11 points in the game, 78-42. You know, scoring can't be like easy enough at all, but that is really taking all everybody's out of the way. The bad defenseman is not just really turning me great, but they are really not being surprised enough now, and they are all picking up the pace in. They are just knocking him down. Jason Tatum, the last one for the third quarter. He gives it again to Pritchard. Three to shoot. You're going to take for a shot, and that's off the rim. That ends the third quarter. 78-44 is the score. Last chance for New York Knicks. They are already flying down. They are dropping down low. The Boston Celtics might be clutching back into the Eastern Conference again. Many times in a row, it's going to happen more. Better off the better pass. Boston Celtics are already like the best team in the first seed of the team. They're going to see what they can do. First quarter has come to an end, and the second quarter, and in the third quarter, last one to go. Be right back after this. And a moment now to reveal the State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm glad right now. I mean, that Jason Tatum brought their team up, but they are really are expecting for a better place to get there. They've been doing it so well. Playing for conscious? All to get it done. Yeah, just leave that. Got to do for real time effort. Three quarters come down to the end. It's reunite now. We're approaching the final quarter. Thanks for joining us here. We are ready to start things off. Right now, Alex Burks, he's with on Major Robinson. It's right now, it's McBride, right from the three quarter, makes three. And hold on with Gunnar, is with it. Other side, we have his holiday with Al, Al Corford, also with Derek White, Dylan Sr., and Sam Hauser. Makaya with the ball, and then we'll have it over to get to Hal Wolfer. Here's a drive, a piece of it, and it misses again. Chua is on the court, he's now back to McBride. McBride, try to race it in. Faster Robinson. Misses the dunk, and he takes a cut! What a slam out! It's now 78 49 game. Oh boy, I don't know what's happening now, but they were really expecting it. They've been like playing it brutally. 
Gerald it. Back to Gavis Sam Hauser. Hauser right from the right swing. He has it over it again, now finding Holiday. Holiday gives it again, back to McCauley. McCauley, Roberson now, again to Holiday. Roberson for number two, and step in, no good. Ashua with the rebound, back again to Brooks. Brooks for the wing. Good drive for the three. Another triple range, makes it in. Two three pointers makes it in, and now it's back to Drew Holiday. Comes it over now to Al Horford. Al Horford now finds Hauser. Hauser trying to get back into now, back to McKay. We got it. And with the layup, oh, a better take, but Tillman Senior's got a ball back. Ooh, boy, that's going to be close one range it in there, McKay. Would have got a first bucket. In game four, that would have been excellent. Al Horford looking number two with a take, and he makes it in. Horford's 13 points of the game. They're down to six minutes to go. Lots of fans are leaving right now, but always thanks for them, for the New York Knicks, for making it surpassing the first round. And now it's their bitter end for the second round in the conference semifinals. We always appreciate them. There it is. Sam Houser with a foul, and another team foul puts up for Boston. Luke Cornett checked in for Horford. Here's McBride. McBride gets into McDonavich for three, and a boom, triple A. McDonavich tries to get back into the game, trying to go back down by 20. Here's Holiday. Now finds the pass over again to McKay. McKay does it again, and this time he finally has the first bucket. That's from Drew Holiday. 82 55 to score. Now for a chance here for Alex Burke to try to get it over again to McGrath. Now he moves over to Mitchell Robinson. He's got a great flip of a high piece of a source with a smile to McGrath with the number of six. He got to look up below. They're really like all flying everywhere. You know, better chances ever. I have never seen anyone like that. But that's what you've always been clicking on. That you can get that with all the better pressure in the deed. And all I have to do for once now. Get that one out of here. And go for the alley -oop. Get it going in. Pour it up. The miss of the shot for the layup is clipped up. Robinson now finds Brooks. Here's Brooks for the, for the shot. And he misses again. Corner with his first rebound. He has it over again to Tillman Senior. He's over now to McCullough. McCullough up over again to Corner and Corner's up. Gets the shot. Gets it back. And over backing over again to Drew Holiday. Here's Sam Hauser with the step and bound. Great pass for Drew Holiday. Hauser with his second bucket. It's an 84-57 game. Well, I guess they now say it. Thank, thank you, New York Knicks. I mean, that's it for now. I mean, there's no question ever how that happened. Ashua slams that dunk down. But the mirror bench points in the scoring drop. Celtics lead 84-59. Holiday. Now finds it over to get it back out here. Back out here, over here to Hauser. Hauser. Try to roll it in. The back stepper finds McCulley. Here's Holiday for the three. Triple range, no good. Luke Corner with the rebound, now finding it again to McCullough. McCullough on a drive, puts it in. That's a little two pointer for the Boston Celtics. Is McCullough with that last grouping in for a substitution. Miles McBride over Burks again to McDonough. McDonough. Rolling in, Sam Hauser on a cover. Robinson, right toward the wing. Bogdanovich on the outside. Passes. Quick pride for three. And another three. Dribble strings in. 86 to 62. You know, I didn't even see what happened now. I guess Miles McBride, he's already like flipping the switch already. I mean, he's trying to go for hot hands. They want to score for again. I can't believe it if they're doing it. Three minutes left to go in the fourth. Here's Sam Hauser with the triple range. And now he has a three-pointer range instead of two. So he has seven points. And the pass. Achua on a wasting attack, and he has a layup drop. Blue corner back to Drew Holland. Finds it again. Now it's passing over to Hauser. Hauser with 230 to go. Finds again to Makai. Kelly up again to Hauser and now finds again to Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday up and a two-pointer misses. 
A two with the rebound and back again to McBride. McBride watching the ball in the play. A two over three. Misses. And the last touch puts in for Mitchell Robinson with 2.11 to go in the fourth. Last group takes position will be on the court. Richard checks in for Drew Holiday. And McClellan is on, on the bench as right now this will be the end of it. Just only two. It's great enough to happen. Yeah, I sure do. I mean, I've always been really impressed with McCulloch on this better on his effort to take over. I mean, he's really doing well. I mean, playing in for the playoffs, I mean, he's finally on it. Two minutes remaining in the game. Sam Hauser with the ball. Now finds it over again to Tillman Sr. Gives it again to Hauser. Hauser to cut in. And he loses the ball. Give it over by Mitchell Robinson. Big Bryant. Stepping in for an orange. Finds again in Burks. Robinson. Over the outside. Now finds the pass. McDonough for two. And this one takes it in. That's a number two point bucket for McDonough. 89 66 is the score. And we're down to under 90 seconds to remain in the final final uh, regulation period. As And at uh, this moment, the New York Knicks are all even right now as the fans will be back soon for a new season. Yeah, I know. It's just. Not always that hard of it, but when you ever put support for a New York Knicks, I mean, you just got to play for all that you can for. Everybody's been going on home, and it's a bye-bye for now. And I think the New York Knicks will play for a new season and have it begun right along the corner. Fans with some appreciation here for the New York Knicks as first with the three. And that misses again as Cornet has his fourth rebound. Now he finds a pass. Here comes Peyton Pritchard for two. And that one bucks it in. Uh, two pointer makes it in for Pritchard. He has seven. Cornette. And Cornette with the assist. Last takeover. Finds again a hard inside. Hard inside finds Robinson. Nice takeover for Robinson. 93 to 868 is the score. Subject lead, 93 68. 30 seconds left to remain in the regulation period. He finds a pass now to Butcher. Butcher gives it over again to Holiday, and now he gives to Hauser. Over again to Drew Holiday. Five to shoot. Holiday gives it over. And Butcher will take a shot, and that will be too much time, as that will be a shot clock violation. New York ball. Celtics. Last change up here for the Celtics as Jalen Brown is checked in for Luke Cornett. McBride, last chance for New York Knicks. And that will be it for Isaiah Hardenstein, last bucket, and it's all to finish. Yeah, everybody's going out. Thank you, fans, at the Madison Square Garden. We can't wait to your support for your new season and again. Boston wins a shutout score, 93 to 70. Thanks for joining us here for this game. And as of the moment now, we're going to be bringing in for the Celtics to see if they can play against the winning team in between the Heat or the Cavaliers. Playing in round, better drive. And a chance now to send you to, over to Ali LaForce. Hey, okay, Ali. Thanks, guys. Drew, this team is winning games. What's coming together for this group right now? Honestly, I think it's a bill. I think it's a comfortability with each other. Um, I think it's the chemistry on the court. And from there, you know, it's chemistry builds. You build confidence. And, uh, man, it's just it's fun to play, you know? I do. I hope it continues to build. It's been fun to watch. Thanks, Drew. All right. Thank you so much. As right now, that is the end of the game. Final score. Bring it on. Celtics moving on to the conference finals. With me, Boomer, along with... Cool, cool Beast and Ultra Beast. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us here for tonight's game, and we'll see you all again next week's game on its way. Thanks for joining us, and have a great night. Take care, everybody. All right, thank you so much, guys. And this was appreciation. Boston Celtics are finally moving in to the conference finals, and this is what happens now. Because they are moving it in, it's a quick rough start already. And it just happens now, New York Knicks will see them again for a new season. I know, it's definitely like a hard way, but you ever expect it now that you got to play for a hard communication skills? Everybody's been playing it for now. And now the Celtics are waiting for the winning team in between the Cavaliers or the Heat. 
So it's definitely going to be a hard one, but hopefully it might be coming in. Here's what I did with the total statistics. It was 69 field goals for the Boston Celtics, 43 for the New York Knicks on the three-pointers. Then the free throws were even up for four. Eight fast break points for New York Knicks. 50 points in the paint for Boston Celtics. Eight second chance points for New York Knicks. Then it was 36 bench points even up for those two. 40 assists here for Boston Celtics. They've done really well. Great plays, great effort. Six offensive rebounds are even up too. With 26 defensive rebounds, that only happened to be Boston Celtics with two steals in the game. And they had five blocks for Boston Celtics. Two turnovers, only that. Three team fouls are even. Just one dunk for the Boston Celtics and four for the New York Knicks. 36 biggest lead and 18-19, 10 possession for the Boston Celtics. They are finally making this weight appearance to the conference finals. And now for your light bulb. For your three star players of the game. Alright, thank you so much. As right now, I get ready to get this thing settled and ready to go. Third star starts things over here as Al Horford with 13 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists in the games, and 6 out of 8 field goal range. Only one three pointer was been taken already in just 26 performance. He just really had that one coming in. Great pressure, it all happens now for the bench points game. That happens to be all of them. Great chance. And great shot effort as well. For your number two star, as on the other side gives it over, I now send you over to Kristaps Porzingis with two blocks in this game, with 18 points, five rebounds, one assist, one steal, nine to ten field goals, and he just had that one coming in to swat that out. I mean, he's been like already been perfect. One dunk and then 20 performance effort. I know he played here for the New York Knicks, but this is happening to be his return home for his part of the first game of the night. Happened to be better than ever. And your number one star, as it goes to the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. 25.6 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 block, 12 out of 14 field goals, 1 three-pointer with 2, and it's 29 performance effort. Jason Tatum did really well, and his star ability continues, and they're ready to step in the conference finals. It's going to happen most of the time again, and you'll see right around the way. All right, thank you so much for the light bulb. If you're joining us for the next game, we've got the next one coming in as the heat battle against the Cavaliers at the Kaseya Center. That'll be coming up later soon at 9.30. Sorry, 8.30 game. That will be the next one here because it's not in the Western Conference anymore. Well, it's, it's going to be happening in there, so you'll see that. In the meantime, stop waffling around, and we'll see you all later for our next game. Fan along with light bulb. Thanks for watching. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports style. If you're tuning in for the next game, we'll see you on the other side. And have a wonderful night for New York. So long in a Big Apple. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.